How's it going? Welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. Today I've got a highly requested airplane. Behind me is a Blanca Decathlon. It's an aerobatic and a tailwheel. Stay tuned, we're gonna check it out. Here we are, 1978. That's the model on this airplane and it looks pristine, guys. Like I was checking it out earlier and this baby looks like it was built a month ago honestly like I've seen a lot of airplanes and I've seen a lot of old airplanes and when I show you the interior of this airplane you would you would see just how well kept it is but before we go inside actually let's let's start up here now you look at this airplane like I said it's a tail wheel as you can see uh, but also you can use a decathlon for aerobatics as a matter of fact if you check out some of your local schools or flight schools, you see that they offer or they use this airplane if you wanted to get your tailwheel endorsement. Uh, so it's, it's a, a reputable plane that you can use for training and that's what the owner of this airplane really bought it for. Uh, not just to train but also to have fun and also uh, he uses this for cross country believe it or not. But let's go through the specs first and then you can uh, tell or decide if this is a good cross country airplane. So. The prop here, you see the two blader prop, and this is a fixed pitch. Now, you can get the decathlon in different models. Uh, you have this, which is the base model, and this comes with the fixed pitch prop, or you can get the super model, or super decathlon, and that comes with a bigger engine and a constant speed prop. Uh, so this here is a fixed pitch. Uh, in the Cowlin, we're working with 150 horsepower, popular Lycoming uh, engine here. Uh, but again, for the proportion weight and power proportion for this airplane, it's perfect. This is a very light plane, so you don't need uh, a lot of power, a lot of engine power to fly it. And if we go around it here, you can't tell, okay? You can't tell, but this, this entire wing spar, this entire wing is made out of wood and fabric. Let me show you. Like if you were to just like dip in a little bit, you can see my hand going in, that's fabric. But you can't tell by the paint job uh, because it looks really neat from the outside. And if we go around here, everything looks intact in this plane. Um, I was just talking to the owner and he flies this baby all the time. Um, and he really bought it to uh, learn aerobatics and to practice his aerobatics airplane. He's a He's an aircraft mechanic and he enjoys flying as a hobby. And one cool thing, as an enthusiast, I love how low to the ground this thing is. So getting in and out is not gonna be an issue. And as a matter of fact, let's, let's go around the back here. See, as I said earlier, tail wheel, Blanca. Guys, if you wanted to learn more of your rudder skills, which I'm getting up to, believe it or not, because you've probably seen some of my landings and you see that I definitely need some work on those landings. If you get a tail wheel, guess what? Your stick and rudder skills are gonna shoot up the roof. Uh, at least that's what I've been told. For all the pilots that I've spoken to who fly tail wheel airplanes, uh, you really improve your skill, uh, your stick and rudder skills. So we're moving up here. Let's go to the interior, which guys, you know I'm very big on the interior of planes because that's where all pilots spend most of their time. So to open this, obviously you've got that. And also one benefit before I go in of having a high wing airplane, you got shade. And as you see right now, the sun is blazing out here, but beautiful shade here. This is a plane you can even take for camping. So you open the door and voila, let me show you how neat, how well kept this plane is. Guys, this is a 1978 model. You look at, <laughs> it's very red in here, but it's very clean. Like, look at the roof line. Very clean, guys. Uh, this is a very well-maintained airplane. You've got your electric switches here. Very minimal, too. There's no, you're not dealing with a lot of, like, circuit breakers or switches. And if you look at the panel also, simple. You've got your analog screens, which, again, when you think of the mission of what you're using this airplane for, you're not doing too much. So if you want to fly old school, this is, this is definitely an option for you. You've got a radio here. Now, according to the owner, he's only got COM1 and a transponder in this plane. But you come down and you see you've got your rudder pedals there. 
a single middle stick, but guess what? You can also fly this plane from the back. So you've got a stick here, but again, just the quality of the interior here, you see like you, you just push on this. <laughs> it's very nice and soft. Okay, and then you've got some room back there. I'm not sure if you can put back, oh, actually you can. It says baggage up to 100 pounds. Let's see if you can see that. See baggage up to 100 pounds there. So you've got a few hours that you can fly in this airplane and you're traveling about 115 miles per hour at 2,500 RPM. Just so you see, if you can, I don't know if the sun is blocking here, this is your airspeed indicator and this outer ring, is in miles per hour. There's a lot of old school airplanes that are still in miles per hour instead of knots. So either way, uh, 115 an hour, uh, miles per hour is still pretty good. And like I said, you can fly this thing for a few hours. Again, I love how low it is to the ground and you've even got a step up. So it's easy entry. And as you can see, it's a one fallen uh, seating. You've got good leg room uh, for somebody back here, but this is a two seater airplane and Mostly it's just gonna be you because you're, you're taking this thing up to have some fun, uh, but also You can use it like I said to go on a cross-country mission now. Who is this plane for? You're gonna get to meet the owner in the next video and you see you know his background and what he actually why he bought this airplane in my opinion if you're looking to get one your tail wheel endorsement this is a great trainer because this is a very light airplane as you can see uh, the simplicity in the interior uh, and the controls it's very easy even for a low time pilot to learn tail wheel but also aerobatics um, so if you're looking to get your tail wheel endorsement or you want to get into some aerobatics this is a great starter now this is not the cheapest airplane these things can go anywhere from fifty thousand all the way to a hundred even more than that and any airplane you get you know it depends on how much work it may need if you if you find a pristine one like this you're probably looking a little bit higher up there but if you can get your hands on one uh, you should definitely definitely get it if you're looking to get into aerobatics like i said or uh, if you want to fly and get your, your tail wheel endorsement. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something about the decathlon. This is a very neat airplane. Make sure you check out the owner's uh, social media. I'm gonna leave it in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you on the next video.